Adiel Gurel has helped thousands secure their retirement riches. Even the great Warren Buffett wrote him needing to know more. The answers are all here for you. Welcome to the Remote Control Retirement Riches Show. So a question that I get a lot is, how many houses should I invest in for a strong financial safety net for me and my family? I get it all the time. So remember, going back to the core materials in my book, which you may want to read as a reference, I think, because I talk about this a lot, and all my articles and stuff, which I'll be happy to share with you, I talk about the fact that each one of the single-family homes that we buy, given that it's in the Sun Belt, in large metropolitan areas, in the suburbs, brand new home, good stuff, and we get a 30-year fixed rate loan with the down payment, and then inflation erodes the real value of the loan as the years go by with inflation, and the tenant is paying it off for you by paying rent. So this is all very, very good stuff. And I give a lot of examples in my book and I scenarios and tables, what happens to, you know, this couple who bought so many homes. So how many homes should you buy? One of these homes is a building block. This home, right now, you put a mere small down payment. So the home has a loan that's most of the value. But in the future, thanks to inflation, not in 30 years, in probably 12 or 14 years, the loan is going to look very puny, and now you have a lot of wealth. And also, some people even pay off the little tiny loans. Some people say, look, I have eight homes, and they all have teeny tiny loans. Maybe I'll sell two of them, pay the capital gains, use the money to pay you know, the other six, retire with six free and clear homes. So what number of homes should you have? Let's just say as a rough rule of thumb, that given the value of homes that we are buying today, in 2021, in these markets that we are buying in, that once one of these homes is free and clear with no mortgage, and that can happen with these low rates and higher inflation, might even happen in as little as 10 years, you will sell you know, one home and pay off like five of them. When one of these homes is free and clear, you still have to pay insurance, property tax, Maybe there's a homeowner association for the neighborhood, property management fees, repairs, vacancies. Net, it's gonna leave you about 900 bucks per month. 900 bucks per month is 10,800 bucks per year. This money, by the way, is inflation proof because rents keep up with inflation over the long term. Let's even round it down and say one free and clear home gives you 10,000 a year net after all expenses for the rest of your life, inflation proof. That's one building block. How many homes do you need? How many building blocks do you need? Some people say, you know, wow, getting another $10,000 a year, I'm done, one home, good. Some people say, no, I need three, I want to make an extra 30,000 a year. Some people might say, no, I want to make 100,000 a year. Well, I need to buy 10. Some people that I know have bought 50 and 20 and 30, doesn't matter. It's a building block. And you decide how many building blocks will serve your needs best. We'll talk about it more at our next event. If you have a specific question, you can put it in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today. Click the subscribe button for more video on real estate. Got a question or comment? I love questions and comments. Leave yours below. And here's another video you've got to see.